I said I'd be showing you this style. Um, I got it from Shauna Locks and Braids. Um, I'll link to her video here. Watched it the other day and I was like, okay, you know what? I have to try this hair style because I thought it was so pretty. So before I made it, I was like, you know what? Let me at least try it first before I film because if you watch my lock bowl tutorial, it just did not work. So after two tries, I was able to come up with this and her style, she did it with one pin only but I've done it with zero pins I did it I really did it and I did it I tweaked it a little bit so if you want to see how I achieved this keep watching so I'll just do a little turn around can you see hope you can see the lighting is probably best here So it's a high bun. So um, you start out with your hair down. Um, then you're going to section off uh, your bangs at the front. The bangs are optional. So I separated uh, just a handful here. I guess they're about 10 here probably and you're gonna make a bang and to do this you're just gonna fold it back on itself and um, so you fold it I want it just above my eye and so I'm gonna fold it like this and then I'm gonna secure it back here you know so it falls on my face like this I'm using reflection of my TV so you gotta have just have to bear with me and this is the point at which um, Shauna used a hairpin but I'm going to use my own hair to secure the bang. So I took one lock from each side. This is a double headed dragon. That's why I'm taking two. And I'm going to kind of bring it up through the back of some of my locks. So it's disguised. And I'm going to tie it on top of the bangs right and i'm going to do a double knot not too tight so your hair gets in a knot but at the same time tight enough that it secures your bangs so my bangs are done now i am glistening i'm not in a good way so those are your bangs so now you're going to take a handful of locks from each side of your head i'm going to take about um I guess six or so have eight here and a handful from this side of your head so whatever is left on the front of your head and whatever is left on the bangs here tie it into a loose knot because you're going to be tucking your hair into here so you don't want to be yanking on your braids all the time so a fairly loose knot that you can fit space in there right so then the rest of the tutorial is the same as what she did you're going to take sections of your hair, um, horizontal sections, and then you're just going to fold it back on itself and tuck it under the knot. So you're just going to tuck that in there. Right? And then you take the next section of hair. And then the same again. And then you tuck that under as well. Another way to make this style easier is that instead of having your ends loose, you can tie a small black rubber band on the end of each row of hair that you're tucking and once it's secured then it will be easier to you know just stuff everything in there okay now for me when I get to the bottom row it's not quite long enough to tuck into the front well actually when I tried to do it the second time it wasn't well both times it wasn't fitting in so I came up with um, a second way to end it. So the first way, you can just continue tucking and you just take this last row and tuck it at the top. 
but the second way you can close off the end is to take the bottom row and then you're going to tie it at the front in a little knot. Has my stomach been hanging out this whole time? And then you just tuck in these ends. Right? So I'm just going to tuck this in here. And tuck this end in here. And um, like I said, you you can um, continue tucking, or if you want, you can go ahead and use some pins to secure it. But that. Ooh, that is pretty much it and it's very secure and I think this way that right tied it that makes it extra so secure. yeah hers looks a lot neater and you can see it looks very um, uniform but I don't mind this look especially since my hair is a bit curly um, I think it looks kind of nice and kind of like a messy bun even though it took longer than just throwing your hair up so I'll just do a 360 oh you can see me right the back and that's the final look um, and then another thing you can do I'm just going to take this down very quickly you can do a half up half down kind of look just going to try to ease some of these out should have done that earlier shouldn't I So if you want, you can do a you can do a half up, half down kind of look like that. If your hair isn't long enough, and I think that looks quite cute, just over your shoulder like that, or you know, any way you like. I I hope I'm not just sweaty looking on camera. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. This is like my new favorite hairstyle. I can tell. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, far too kind. Uh.